Hey everyone, Meow City here. Welcome back. Today we're going to be going into the Crimson Courtyard. Hopefully getting through it. We'll see what happens. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> As usual, we're going to be using a huge stock of stuff. Um, I kind of just want to get through this. So I'm going to be bringing literally everything in the kitchen sink. And let's see what happens. Alright. So last time we left off, we were kind of heading this way. Um, if I remember right, the Baron's over here, but we need to like go all the way up and then down? Or is it down then up? It might be down then up. So let's do that. Kind of just kind of hodgepodge this group together to try to get through it. I think this will work, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, ended up not taking the succubus after last time because we just kind of want to focus up more on damage. A handsome reward for a task well performed. And here's that social light again that I really do not like them. Uh, we are going to try to pull the cords on up front. Well, she can't be guarded, so sucks to be her. <laughs> Let's try to guillotine her now, taking her out. Broken. Maintain the offensive. We're then going to focus more on the Esquire, but let's heal him up and get rid of the Blight. Suppose that this is the only one we can hit with an actual bleed move. Bleeding them both. Fully executed. The applicant goes down on its turn and taking out the Esquire. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. There we go. Ooh, jute tapestry. That's some more money. Horrors brought low and driven into the mud. Alright, so we are gonna draw her in front. Bleed her. Let's, um, you know what? Let's take out this one. That way, there's only three of them left. That was an easy kill. We're going to guillotine because we do more damage versus bleeding. So she's going to take nine around. Unless she uh, does the thirst, she's going to die. Not this turn, but next turn. And instead, she wants to slap me. So she gets hers. And that's one curse. Lovely. Maybe we can get rid of that, though. So. We'll see what happens. We're going to de-stress a little bit, because we do need to keep on top of that. We are going to try to take care of the manservant. Yes, I made it. We are going to try to get rid of the supplicant. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. And bah. There we go. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I don't remember which way I honestly need to go. Probably should bring up a map, but... Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Alright, uh, let's go at the courtesan. 
lovely. Injury. Palpable fear. Getting rid of the stress. Festering fear consumes the mind. We are going to bleed this Gorgson. She's going to get taken out. We are going to bleed this courtesan. Unnerved. Unbalanced. Ooh, another Crimson Purse. Bleeding them all again. This one should now go down. We are going to take out the Sycophant. Just leaving the Supplicant. Hearing him. No Blight. Taking out the Supplicant. It's going to die on its turf. He's stressing because we can. Crying Havoc to get rid of stress because she's gonna die on her turn. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Alright, uh, I did bring up a map, so we're gonna go this way. Now that I've been through here, uh, don't want to spend absolutely forever wandering through getting ripped apart again. <laughs> I right, uh, think we've got enough shovels. Gonna use some of this food to heal up. And here we are. Okay, so... Let's keep on the stress. That's gonna be a thing in here. We are minding our manners. You're the one who attacked us. Let's bleed them all. Let's get rid of the one who hasn't transformed yet. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Let's... Yeah, let's guillotine the courtesan. Alright, we're not. Taking out the manservant. Generated. Getting rid of stress. Taking rid of the chevalier. Don't like him at all. Courtesan, because extra bleed damage to her. She goes down, leaving the chevalier. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Looks like I will need to heal him, getting rid of the bleed as well, if I can. Um, yeah. Ooh, very good heal. And, can we finish him off? Suppose he'll die on his turn. Cry Havoc. Down he goes. As the enemy crumbles. Alright, blue key. That means I think we go up. Yeah, moving in here is just, uh, interesting because like every few steps someone gets stress so having a stress healer is so good and we are going to go up we are going to burn this thing for some stress relief Burning for some loot. I'm actually gonna heal a little bit. Alright, from 
here. We want to go up. Up. I can read a map sometimes. Um. I think we're okay to use this. And we will give him blood now. Extra damage is always a good thing on one of our bigger damage dealers. Alright. So... Since we don't really need to de-stress right now and healing isn't that big of a deal, let's pull the courtesan in range and make sure she can't guard herself. Then going to... Yeah, let's take out this one. Bleeding everyone. I guess he's gonna do that, so we're just going to take out a supplicant. Give them no quarter. We are then going to make sure she can't be guarded. Which is a very amazing move. Uh, we are then going to try to take her out. Two left. Taking out this one. I've got that crazy corks on now. And down she goes. Quakes. Taking what we can. I think I'm gonna take this over the citrines because it sells for more. And going up even more. Don't remember what this all does. Uh I think I wanna leave it alone. Torch for that and give her blood. And we can use our blue key. I think this is a crocodilian. Yep. A hideous mutation. Unnatural and abhorrent. So for now we're just gonna do this because it gives more crit on him if we get the debuff. Alright, we are going to mark him for everyone else. We are going to doggy treat. We are going to bleed him and hurt him. That's what I was going to do anyway, pretty much. And it didn't work out, so that's fine. Um, does come hither work? Well, it still did part of its job. She needs to move back. We're going to guillotine, which missed. That's not great. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Uh, hitting him again. Lovely. He really does not like her. Well, let's do what we can. Actually, let's mark again. And he d missed. That's not great. I think that ups his dodge again. Uh, we absolutely need to bandage. We're going to red seal. She is going to heal herself. I'm going to go all in on damage. Really, dude? Healing herself again. Injury and 
correspondence set the stage for heroism. Or We're going to try to bleed him more, which did not work. He really does not like that Lamia. Um, not bleeding anymore because we keep missing. Not marked anymore. Can dodge the mark, really. At least it's bleeding. We're going to heal ourselves again so she doesn't die. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. healing so he doesn't die. We're going to try to bleed it. Uh, marking again. What is this deal with Valioi? Fast. Oh boy. Well, it's a good thing we have some bandages. I'm gonna try to bleed him some more because that seems to be doing more than anything else. We are going to heal so she doesn't die. Uh, can we mark him? We can mark him. And there he goes. Alright. That's the advance for the Forsaken. Momentum. Push on to the task's end. Plus 15% damage if in position 1, on attack hit, forward by 1, plus 20%, move resistance, and 5 speed. Huh. That is interesting, to say the least. And now, can I just take this? This is what I'm wondering. No, I can't. So let's... Yeah, let's get... Oh, not what I wanted to take. Let's get rid of the Moodstone for it. Maybe. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna move down here. We default party order. We're gonna heal with food. Because uh, we have that. And lovely. He is going to de-stress people. We're going to bleed them. We're going to get rid of the blood flower. Let's mark it. She's out again, huh? Terrible vistas of emptiness. They really don't like our Lamia. Let's get that blood flower. He needs to heal herself. Getting that blood flower. A victory. Perhaps the time. Crying havoc for stress. Taking out the Chevalier. We're marking him to make this drag on just a tad longer because I want to cover a little bit. Crying Havoc. And I guess we're going to end it. Alright. Came out a little better than we came in, but not great still. 
Ziegfeld. They can be beaten. And we are gonna put stuff on her just so we have extra room for loot. I'm not sure how far into this one I'm actually going to go now, just because we're really not in a great place. I do think that we could get out of here if we wanted to, but uh, it, it would take some work. Right, there's another fight and a trap up here, so... Let's see what we can do here, and we'll see what happens from there. Another Blood Flower, a Chevalier, and a Courtesan. Alright, so we're gonna bleed them all. That way we can do stuff to them. We're definitely de-stressing. Uh, let's go on him, because Lamia is the one who needs it, to be honest. Let's get the Courtesan down, because she's the one who causes the most stress. think. Maybe not. I'm not sure about the blood flower, to be honest. And we're gonna need to get the Chevalier down, too, just because of the massive amount of damage he does. I would like Corsi not to die, but things may happen. We're gonna need to heal him. Alright, uh... Let's pop these, I suppose and start bleeding again. Let's bleed the Chevalier. Popping this again, marking the Blood Flower. Okay, good dodge. To hit the blood flower. Crit will de stress them. I'm going to heal her with that, and then we're going to de stress. Uh, he's going to die on his next turn, so we can go at the blood flower. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. And we're going to cry havoc. Getting rid of a little more stress. I suppose we're not in an absolutely horrible place. We can, we can try going on. So then if we go from here, we can also get rid of the key. Uh, I don't have room to give this guy anything he wants. I, I tried to use... That's one thing I don't necessarily like about this mod is... It's kind of hard to click on a few things. All right, um, let's de-stress, I suppose, bleeding them. All right, this is a tough call. I think I want to get rid of the large corpse eater just because of the massive amount of damage it can do. Let's go all in on him. About to break. Let's use this stuff again. We're gonna cure him. Using this again. We're gonna. Corpse Eater is gonna take a few turns to go down, so. Actually, what happens when I do this? Alright, so it's gonna die by the time it gets its next turn. Gonna give him the blood. Gonna use this on him. Oh, wait. Yeah, I need to wait, I suppose. Um, we are going to try to take out the Chevalier.
de-stressing. We are going to guillotine. Or not guillotine, but uh, hook and slice. 11 damage turn. He has 14, so we're going to do one more on him. He's going to die on his turn. We're going to pull the corpse feeder. I think it dies on its turn now. So they all die. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate. I, I do want this. And then. There we go. Alright, for this, we're definitely using medicinal herbs. Finding the stuff is only the first test. We can heal up. Must be carried home. That's slightly better. Right, from here, I think we need to go up. Remember this one too well. Remember this being a slight maze. Um, this is something we absolutely need. And could help us a lot. So let's use a shovel. If only and treasure could take the flow of that over corruption. That's an odd one. Um, we are gonna take that though, just because I know my things have been odd. So just in case they haven't saved. Uh, let's de-stress. Then we're gonna. Take out the Esquire, I think. Unfortunate, I wanted to bleed them all. But still taking out the Esquire. Guillotine. Bleeding him. Mortality clarified in a single strike. We need to heal him so he doesn't die on his turn. For now. Seems like everyone has the Crimson Curse now. We're going to take out this Supplicant. We are going to bleed this Supplicant. And take it out. Oh no. Alright, be stressing. Taking him out. As victory. I do want these um will resistance. What we can get rid of is probably I'm not sure. Uh let's just get rid of the dog treats, I suppose. I'm not sure we're gonna make it to the Baron anyway. We're gonna do this, and then this, and be fine. We're gonna use... Oh. Really? That could've been so helpful. We are gonna use the firewood here. A moment of respite. They're gonna de-stress and eat to, to heal. The coming horrors. Anyone have a prevent nighttime ambush? Yes, we do. That's a little paramount right now. We're gonna de-stress. <laughs> Therapy dog. And let's do encourage. Encourage. I think this was for this one. Alright, moving on along. I think we need to go up. Alright, um, I think we want to go for the Esquire this time around. So let's bleed everyone. Devastating blow. We need to... 
think we want to focus on healing this time around. With him, we are going to get rid of the manservant, or at least try, and then we are going to hook and slice the esquire, shuffling him and bleeding him a little bit more. That means in two turns, unless he does the um, thirst, he's going to die. Well, I jinxed. Well, at least he didn't hit. What can we do from here? I'm probably going to need to get rid of some bleeding, which means also healing. We can still get rid of him. We can guillotine this one, making it bleed more, and now it's going to die on its turn. And then we can kill this one. Then healing him, getting rid of the bleed. And then they go. This expedition at least promises success. And I get rid of his bleeding and move along. I, I think. Ooh, sister. All right, well, there's that. Moving up. We don't have enough food. That's not good. I didn't pay attention to that. Okay. Yeah, that's really not good. And then she's not going to let anyone get more. So, everyone's super stressed out. I'm gonna need to de-stress. I'm gonna try to kill one of the sycophants. I'm gonna de-stress. I know he's really low on health, but I think this is the right move. I'd say as that happens. Uh, we are going to chain stun them so they don't get a next turn. And we're gonna hound Harry, killing one, bleeding the rest. Stunned. Going to try to get this one. Guillotining it, now it's gonna die. Go all in on this one. And she can heal herself. Now we're fine. Next round. Um, healing herself again. Taking out the Esquire. Taking out the Sycophant. Taking what we can. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and I think we're gonna leave here. So let's get the chest. Yeah, I thought that was the green key, so... Uh, yeah, so if we back out here, I think the Baron is right here, which would be the green key that we're gonna use. And then, after that, it's the fight with the Baron, so we'll see what happens. But that will be that. You will endure this loss and learn from it. Alright, 18,000 gold is not bad. Got a bunch of heirlooms, which is really good. 
does good exploration. Seventy-two crests, three deeds, ten portraits, and eighteen busts. Alright, some bad stuff, but that's fine. I was not really this place a fan of the snake charmers, to be honest. Crows and rats made it their domain. Um, all of those people need to go into recovery. Uh oh. Oh yeah, he only will flagellate, I think. Um, so that means if we want to take on the Baron... Oops, wrong thing. Um, we need a new group. And I need to think about who to bring in here. Um, I do think that he would be a good choice. The Rudiment. That is... Yeah, Rudiment. I'm pretty sure the Vestal would be good because of the AoE healing. I'm very not tempted to bring the Golem in just because it can't really heal. Um, actually, we can bring a better Vestal, so let's do that. Other than that, though, I don't really know who I would want to bring. I would want people who can bleed. I'm not entirely sure how to use the sister very effectively, so that kind of rules them out for me, especially in a situation like this. I would be tempted to use it if it wasn't a higher stake thing. But just reading their skills over and over and over, it's like they almost need someone to be marking or bleeding um, the target they're attacking or blighting. And then they also need someone who forces a dance with them because they can move forward, but not back. So they need someone else who can also move forward. Um, I am tempted to bring a falconer. Actually, that might be a good choice is because they could do bleeding and then she could do bleeding. But do I have any... I know I have a few falconeers around here, so where are my falconeer trinkets? Is that it? Because I thought I had more. Alright, so debuff chance, but minus one speed. We'll, we'll take the plus one speed instead. And I will take the dodge on her. And then her and the rudiment can kind of play together. I know that you can't do heavy impact from row one but he can do hit some of his other stuff. So maybe this will work. And then we need a third row, which I had a few ideas the last time I did this and none of them worked absolutely great. Having another thing that can mark and bleed wouldn't be bad. So it, it'd basically be between him, a highwayman, and quite honestly, a plague doctor, I think. Let's go for the damage and go for the houndmaster. And maybe throw some stuff on for damage. Um, dodge, speed, debuff, resistance down. So yeah, let's do that. And we'll go in and see what we can do about Baron and hopefully not lose this group. Gonna take one of these. Don't think we're gonna have too much mark stuff, but we're gonna take those. A few of these. Gonna need a few things of blood. I think we're gonna still need a few torches, some medicinal herbs, some bandages just in case. I know that in the fight there's gonna be some anti venom needed, and just in case, some shovels and some food. And let's be off. I, 
I am going to basically head straight to the Baron. Uh, I'm not going to fool around with some of this other stuff. And I know that there's like a key or something that he gives afterward. So maybe if the group's looking all right after that, we can look into what the key does. But I'm not holding my breath. We're going to make them all bleed. We are going to do this right away and do more damage to bleeding targets. Perilous Flesh right away. That way he doesn't attack back. I thought we switched out her moves. We'll have to look at that again really quick. Oh, we did that to the other one. That's why. Well, that one's not looking great. Alright. We are going to excellence. Leading them again. Healing. Let's, uh, I suppose kill this one. Just one down. Creating the blood flower. The sycophant dies on its next turn. Let's up our damage to bleeding targets again. Not that she's doing absolutely too much, but it's something. And... I think we win this round. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. There we go. Worn gardening gloves. Interesting. So too will resistance. Alright, uh, before I forget, taking these off and putting those on, which is the main reason I brought her. Hundred percent damage versus vet. Well, you know what? Debuff resistance and protection. That'll be good on her. Give denial. Using blood on the rudiment. Um, there we go. And here's our Baron. It would seem his taste for triviality remains unabated, even now. Alright, so let's do what we can here. Damage versus bleeding. Oh. Careless flesh. And trying to kill one. Or at least stun, I suppose. Alright, killing this one. Moving them forward. Damage for splitting. Oh. Uh, Let's excellence because if I do that, this one is probably gonna die. And I'll open up another one. There's our Baron. Let's try to stun him. Alright. The birthplace of dread. Stunning him again if I can, because that's all she can do right now. 
its flesh to work in wonders already. Festering. We're gonna bleed everything because I need this egg gone. And she is going to try to get rid of this sick event. Uh, excellent. Not great. And what happens to our rudiments? The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Alright, we are going to take him out. Now he's gonna bleed. Twenty damage per round. Holy cow. Let's get his accuracy down. As life ebbs, that is just insane. Vistas of emptiness okay, so we're going to minor shard. We're going to bandage getting rid of that bleeding. And we're gonna perilous flesh. Set the stage for heroism. And then she is going to do her big heal. She's going to divine. Oh boy. How much is she bleeding? Four around? For... Yeah. Well, she's going to heal everyone else and hope he doesn't die. For death by inches. That is just insane. That ripped the rudiment apart, like quite literally. Alright, um, let's bleed him. Probably should have dog treated, but there's our rudiment gun. Alright, let's, uh, I, I need to think about this for two seconds here. Okay, heal. Compassion is a rarity. He's not bleeding yet, so we're gonna do this. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Bandage, minor shard, dog treat, red seal, mark him. Again, we're gonna get the accuracy down. We're gonna heal everyone again. We are going to damage him some more. Hopefully bleeding him, bleeding him. All right, that's what we needed. Going to use minor shard and then try to stun him. Actually, surprised it worked. Damage versus bleeding. Okay. Stunning. I'd rather just doing some damage. Actually surprised it's stunned. I had to crit to do that. <laughs> damage versus bleeding, but we missed. Uh, we're gonna take him out. Opening another one.
damage her. She's bleeding. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Stunning. Very nice. Bleeding. Masterfully execute. That one's gonna die before its next go. But we really can't do anything else, so there we go. Destroy them all. Bleeding again. Alright. Well, lower accuracy. Stunning. Leading the Baron, because we know which eggs he's in. Ikafint is going down, now we can heal. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Okay. Damage versus bleeding. This is not working out well. Oh, lovely. There goes my plan. And he's healing up. Okay. So, what we're gonna do... I forgot about this. That was part of the whole thing I wanted to do in the beginning. Heal him up. Lower accuracy. Heal again. The wounds of war can be healed. Never hidden. Uh. Okay, so for now. And then we're going to mark. Damage versus marked, lower accuracy. Healing more than I'm doing damage for. Gotta heal. Bleeding. I just realized they're not up to par on uh, stuff. That might be part of its problem. <laughs> um, I right, damage versus bleeding. Healing. Nice. Uh. Perched on the uh -huh. precipice of oblivion. Healing again. Accuracy since he's not bleeding. Trying to bleed him. Hey, okay, what can I do here? Use that. Three accuracy, one battle. I think I can use this on her. 
and we're going to lower his accuracy. Bandage. I don't think this is gonna help cure her anymore. And we're going. Well, at least got her off of death's door. He's going down, he's bleeding. That might be bad. This is no place for yeah. weak or foolhardy. When things go downhill, they go downhill. <laughs> I, I know this is a losing battle, so we're gonna Sin retreat. Not in being outmatched, but in failing to recognize it. All right, let's get out of here while we can. And we know the other group might have a better chance at the bear. Will invariably lead to defeat. So with that being said, uh, we're at least at the Baron this time. There's no more trekking through the... Yourself not with the... Oh, interesting. Crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. The Dead Pilgrims, a terrible incident. A group of pilgrims traveling on the old roads perish under strange circumstances. Only a single priestess survives. Do we have shelter for her in these dark times? Actually, might as well grab a succubus. Level one, we might need it. Or zero, I suppose. So yeah, like I said, we're at least at the Baron. We don't have to trek through the Crimson Courtyard to get to him. Um, we just have to put together a group to tear him apart, which I think we honestly have. I just need to have it de-stressed and such. Um so yeah, with that being said, that's where we're gonna end this one. Next time we're probably gonna spend a little time in the cove and the wheel to recoup some of our losses and do some of that stuff because the last few episodes have been kind of odd. Um I know I didn't get to the brigand 18 or 8 pounder last time because of the Banshee. And at least we got some stuff out of that. And then other than that, we kind of went into the Crimson Courtyard expecting to get to the Baron maybe killing it and then we had the bad run with the baron basically almost wiping us out but at least we got out with some of our stuff and a kind of unique um trinket so i'm at least a little happy with that um i do wish it went a little bit better though but things happen um i did not expect the rudiment to have a 20 bleed over time that was absolutely insane and tore him apart and that was one of my favorite characters so <laughs> as as I always say, things happen. So um, that's where I'm going to end this one as I kind of think about things and where to go from here. So as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.